What's going on everybody? DSD Ghost here back with another video for you. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to get the achievement or trophy of Heart of Darkness, which is to get eight different Carillions, whatever you want to call them. I'm not very good at pronouncing things in this game, but you have to go and find eight of them. Uh, they are all around the map in random areas, uh, but I have the location for you. Um, so I will show you where they are, try and give you as much detail as possible, and I will leave a uh, timestamp in the video description below. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so we're going to start over in Smuggler's Cove. There's actually going to be two of them over here. The first one is going to be on the uh, west side of Smuggler's Cove, kind of towards the middle, more towards the left of it. I'll zoom in for you. Kind of over by Cemetery Forest. Um, there's going to be a question mark if you haven't been there. Uh, if you have, there's going to be an I. I'll zoom in some more. So once you get over to the area where the chest is, uh, it's going to be like this, another deck with a bunch of sheds and stuff. Um, you're going to be looking towards your north east, more towards the north. And when you come around the corner, look at, there she is. Yeah. There it is. Good old wind chime. There you have it. Alrighty, next one up is going to be again in Smuggler's Cove. Uh, this one's going to be towards the bottom left of it. Zoom in for you again. Question mark if you've ever been there. And an eyeball if you have. I'll zoom in some more so you see where it is. Now when you make your way up the hill, you're going to turn. Well, you'll probably make your way up from this way if you've flown over here like me. And here's the cave where the chest was. If You've never been here. There's a chest in there. And you walk, but you hear some kind of noise to your right. Oh, look. There it is. Boom. There it is. Blowing in the wind. The next one is going to be over in Whalers Bay. On the border of Wild Coast and Whalers Bay. You're going to zoom in here. You can see it's by Auctions Glade. Zoom in some more so you can see. When you get there, you're going to face west. You're going to look, and there's going to be two shacks, two sheds. I left my crate in one of them so you can see that's the one where the crate is. Just in case you've never been here before. You're going to walk towards it. You're going to follow this trail to the left, and there she blows. Good old wind chime. Okay. There you have it. Wind chime. Carillion. Carillion. I don't know how you pronounce it, but there it is. The next one is going to be to the southwest in the channels. Uh, it's going to be kind of on the border of channels and seal island. Um, right over here where my little arrow is. Again, if you've never been there, there will be a question mark. If you have, there's going to be a little eye. Uh, zoom in some more. It's actually right by um, this campfire right over here. So, you know, if you're just trying to get there quick, you can dash off over there. Um, and I'll zoom in some more. You can see right here, that's exactly where it is, right by the eye. So once you get here, you're going to be facing kind of northeast, more towards the north. And you're going to be looking at where the chest was in that little cave. And if you look just up a little bit, boom, there it is. Right away. Nice looking birdhouse. The next one is going to be all the way down south in Windy Island, literally as south as you can go. I mean, there's a little bit of a tip right here that you can go south, but it's going to be right here. 
I'll zoom in so you can see it. There's going to be one, two, and then three question marks. Or if you've been there, there's the eyes. It's the middle one towards the most southwest you can go on the island. And I'll zoom in some more. Again, here's the eye. And you're going to be facing directly southwest. And as you would see where the chest is, I mean, if you've gotten the chest already, you may not see it. But on this deck looking thing, boom. There she blows. Yeah. There it is. The next one is going to be all the way to the southeast at Egg Island. Zoom in here. It's going to be on the eastern side of Egg Island. Again, there will be a question mark if you haven't been there. If you have been there, there's going to be an I. And literally as you approach it, it's going to be to your south, directly south, facing the, uh, I guess, lighthouse. I guess that's the lighthouse. Sure. Let's call it a lighthouse. And you literally see it from a distance. But for the sake of the video, we'll run up to it. And here you go. Again, facing the lighthouse. There we go. Boom. Ain't she party? Alrighty, the next one is all the way top right over by Driftwood. And that is going to be towards the eastern side of it. I'll zoom in some more. Again, question mark if you've never been there. I, if you have, check it out. Then when you get here, you're going to be looking north. Kind of by where the chest was, as if you're running towards the chest. From the campsite, you're going to walk up the hill. The chest is over here in between these weird statue things. And oh, you turn around and look what you hear. There she blows in the wind facing north. The next one's over here in uh, New Argyle. And if you zoom in, it's going to be on uh, Dana Forest. Kind of towards the southern part of that section. Uh, for me, I came from this campsite over here. So you're going to be coming from the north. I'll zoom in some more. Here you go. Again, question mark. You've never been there. I, if you have. And so I'm looking up the hill because if I turn around, which you'll see, I'll most likely slide down. So you're coming from the north, you're going south, and the chest is, was at the bottom of the hill. And as soon as you go to walk, there it is. You can see it as I slide right to it. So, right here. There you go. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you throw it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you need a timestamp to go back for some reason you missed one, uh, timestamps are in the video description. Again, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please throw it a thumbs up. And hopefully I'll see you guys on my live streams. Um, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day.